Hey you guys, it's Britt tonight. We're here to talk about Cola Brand just having a little meltdown on his Instagram regarding the response that people have had from him and Savannah announcing that they are having yet another baby. So we're going to talk for a few minutes. If you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so Cole shared this and he said some quick bullet thoughts since announcing baby five. The first one is it's clear and in my opinion, kind of sad how anti big family our culture has become. I think if a couple has decided to have two kids, that's okay. If they decided to have none, that's okay. And if they decided to have eight, as long as they can provide for them, that's amazing. So number one, Cole has already missed the mark big time by trying to say that people just don't like big families. The problem with Cole and Savannah is that they have children to use them as content. They have children to prop up on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and any other platform where they can monetize their children, the LeBrants will be partaking and very happy about partaking. They are active participants in exploiting all of their children, oversharing and allowing creepy, weird people to become parasocially connected to their children and therefore it makes both of them bad parents, as I've said before. You know exactly what you're doing and you continue to do it. People are not anti big family. People are against people having children and automatically turning those kids into content in any way, shape and form. I believe we've been seeing an attack on the family unit for a long time. A loving mom and dad having lots of kids and raising those kids to serve the Lord used to be something that made people proud. Now it threatens a lot of people. Again, I don't think that it threatens anybody. Let's just talk about how his version of a family unit is a mom and dad and kids. I have talked about this before, but family units that are loving and provide for children come in many forms and sizes. There can be a single dad. There can be a single mom. There can be two dads. There can be two moms. There can be a mom and a dad. There can be so many different um, kind of demographics of like who makes up a household. And I have always said, if you are in a financial position to have children and that is something that you want to do, by all means. But as I stated earlier, if you are having children and you're automatically thinking, hmm, how can we monetize this content? How can we make sure that we get so much out of this child before they are even born so that then people are amped? And when we post that birth blog, it's going to get 10 million views because that is exactly what the LeBrands have done. Nobody has an issue with people having kids as a statement. That is not the thing. But in Cole and Savannah's minds, the family unit is their idea of what makes up a quote normal family. Guess what? I would rather have a, a single parent or two dads, two moms, or you know, a dad and a mom who don't use their kids for content instead of having Cole and Savannah exploit their children in every way that they can think of. Because loving family units do not exploit their children. It doesn't matter who the parents are or if it's a single parent or whatever. Loving families do not do what Cole and Savannah have done for years to their children. The last point that he made is, I believe in a God whose ways are not our ways. 
and a God who provides abundantly. Baby number five for us was not planned, but I fully know this baby was planned by God and that he'll provide as he has always done. He'll provide Savannah and I with peace, joy, laughter, patience, creativity, grace, and strength to raise these kids well. Guys, I also wanted to just add in here that what Cole is saying about God giving him and Savannah children and power and all of this kind of stuff, like, please don't ever think that if you are somebody who is suffering with fertility issues or you've been having some sort of health complications that surround trying to conceive a child, I don't want anyone to ever believe that Cole and Savannah are worthy of something that somebody else is not because it, it doesn't matter what your religion is or what your beliefs are or how often you pray or who you pray to that has nothing to do with fertility in my personal opinion I think that it's a much more complex situation and I don't think that everybody should just be pointing their finger to God because they have had five children so all of that is great, but let's talk about the stress that they have avoided by being able to make so much off the backs of their kids. Let's talk about the financial aspect of it because money or the lack of money, I should say, really adds a huge burden to a lot of parents and caregivers. And you have Cole and Savannah here who have made mountains of money off the backs of their kids trying to talk about how, um, you know, everything is peace, love, and positivity, but you also don't have to worry about the financial aspect of it. So what if you were no longer allowed to monetize your children? Would you still be laughing and giggling and being all positive then? What would it look like? Because in my opinion, if they were not allowed to monetize their kids, I do not believe that they would be making content showing their kids. And I've said before, it is on the platforms to make changes and do better for the safety of these kids because until the platforms make changes or there's laws that are put in place, um, nothing is going to change. And we're still gonna have a bunch of parents running around here acting like it's all good but a lot of their happiness comes from the dollar bills that they have been able to make because of monetizing their children and monetizing children that are not even here yet. To close out this video, I wanna reiterate that I think that parenting content is vital. I think that it's really important and I think it can be a really um, kind of welcoming and positive thing when you are a new parent or maybe you're not even a new parent but you have a hurdle that you're trying to get over or a question that you want answered and you can go onto social media and hear other parents who have you know experienced whatever it is that you're you know looking for those parents share how they got through a difficult situation without oversharing about their children and the medical diagnoses what school the kid goes to, showing the child, showing the kid in the ER, like all of that kind of bad stuff, but they can share things surface level in order to help other parents because I do think that parenting content has a place on social media and I do think it's important, but the way that these family vloggers go about it, this is not parenting content, this is exploiting your children for cash content and that's why it's a problem and I'm here to talk about it. That's gonna be it for tonight, so if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.